All right, trig derivatives. Y equals two cosecant x plus five cosine x. The first thing to pick up is that there's no chain rule. It's just x. So it's literally just for the memorization of what we've done in the past. All right? And the memorization is that the derivative of cosecant x, and I hope I got this memorized correctly, is negative cosecant x cotangent x. I know the derivative of a cosine is negative sine. So our derivative is simply leave the coefficient and change the derivatives. All right? Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Pretty straightforward, pretty quick. On the next one, it's chain rule. And again, we don't want to write out each one separately. So you start remembering that it's f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. So I look at the top, 1 plus sine x, and derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of sine x is cosine x times the bottom minus derivative of the bottom. Derivative of cosine is negative sine times the top all over the bottom squared. When I look at this, uh, this is probably not one I'd make you expand. I can tell right now it's not going to work out very pretty. Hopefully you guys can see cosine squared. The question is, do you get a plus sine squared? But you don't because it's three negatives on the here. Oh, no, that's a positive, isn't it? I lied. This is, this is what I'd tell you to multiply out. Let's do it. Because if you multiply out the numerator, you get cosine x plus cosine squared x, that's plus sine, so plus sine squared x, plus sine x, and it's plus sine squared x, both. All over 1 plus cosine x quantity squared. And this, cosine squared x plus sine squared x, would be 1. So I'd have 1 plus cosine x plus sine x all over 1 plus cosine x quantity squared. There's only one trig identity in our class we got to know. It's sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And if you know that, you can derive the rest. All right? The next thing is, if you take this same thought process to, to tangent lines, And if you take the same process to tangent lines, you can have questions like this. Find the equation of the tangent line of f of x at the point p. All right, what do you need for a tangent line? Point and a slope. These problems give you the points. So all you need is a slope at that instant. All right? And to do this rather quickly, just so you see it, Derivative of tangent is secant squared. All right. This is where I would probably use my calculator because I am a lazy man. And I would just hope against some sort of odds that this works out. It doesn't, though. Cosine of 45 degrees is not some sort of value, right? But you could use a decimal, four-place decimal on the AP if you're taking the AP. In our case, it is... In our case, we're going to have to probably think of the triangle. 45 degree angle, 1, 1, square root of 2. 45 degree, cosine of 45. Cosine of power of 4 in this case would be 1 over square root of 2. This is that over the squared, so this comes out to be 2. When you do 1 over square root of 2, 1 over 1 over square root of 2 squared, Comes one half, we'll put one over half. If we get there, struggle a little bit with the board. Now it's just as simple as filling it out. And if I do this in uh, red, point slope form, y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus pi over 4. Point slope form. Easy, right? 
easy. The next one could get you, and the, it's not really the point zero one, which is what gave you. It's figuring out the slope. When you look at this, you could do it as a product rule. All right, you could do it as a product rule. And if you distribute cosine x, do you guys see if you distribute, you get cosine x plus x cosine x. That still has a product rule in it. So no matter how you slice this, even distributing cosine x doesn't help you much. So my temptation here would be not to distribute. All right. The derivative of 1 plus x is just 1 cosine x plus, then 1 plus x stays. Derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now I'll just plug in 0, f prime of 0, 1 times cosine of 0, which is going to be 1. We'll get there in a second. 1 plus 0 times negative sine of 0. Again, sine of 0 is 0. This is remembering a unit circle, which sometimes students struggle with. So the, the thing is, if this, this all goes to 0 then, 1 times 1, and I get a derivative at 0, that's equivalent to 1, so the slope tangent line. So for letter B here, and I'll do it in a different color, y minus 1 equals 1 times, and I'd probably write x minus 0. You wouldn't have to. But I do. I like that. When I'm going to use point slope form, I like giving the coordinate. All right. Keep practicing.